welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Before we go over what we're gonna be doing in this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that we hit the channel's very first milestone, 100 subscribers. So for all of you out there that believed in me, thought my videos were good enough to subscribe to, thank you so much, it means the world to me. Um, I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. And, and I wanted to celebrate with all of you by doing a giveaway. So keep a lookout in my next video or in two videos, I'm gonna be announcing what giveaway it is, what kind of rules, it's gonna be free to enter, just for you subscribers. So thank you so much. Again, let's get right into what this video is all about. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be seeing how much weight the Armour Mojave can pull. So after one of my last videos when it pulled the Toyota Prius, I started to really wonder how much weight these cars can actually pull. And I wanted to figure out a way that we can put a test to it and show you guys exactly how much weight, put some numbers on it that this car can pick up. So we have this system that I've completely rigged up. And we're gonna be picking up this weighted vest here. And I'm gonna be adding these 2.5 pounds iron weights to the vest um, every time the car successfully makes a run. Once we find the limit, we're gonna add another pulley, another snatch block. So for you guys that don't know what a snatch block is, it's basically just a pulley that breaks apart like this. So you can put it on the line much easier. You don't have to thread, thread it through. Um, and then, the last thing that you guys need to know about pulleys is it goes by parts of line. So the more parts of line that you guys have or how many pulleys that you have added up into your setup, the more weight you're gonna be pulling. So each part of line, you're gonna be able to pull more weight. So that's all you need to really know. I'll, I'll make a video a little bit later on about more detail about what these snatch blocks exactly do, what pulleys do. But basically we're gonna be trying to give this Armour Mojave a mechanical advantage to see how much weight it could pull up. And eventually maybe it could pick up one of us. All right guys, so just to start everything off, um, obviously, that the, I'm, well, I'm hoping the truck can pull a, 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 the vest without any weight in it. It weighs about two and a half pounds, the, you know, the same weight as one of these. Um, let's, let's call it two, it's a little bit lighter. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two of these, so it's gonna be five pounds of weight added on. So in total, it's gonna be about seven pounds. There's one, and then we'll put one on the other side too. And it's completely empty, this vest. Cool. And just to show you the system, so we have it roped off and it's gonna go through one pulley, but it's not going back down anywhere. So it's gonna be a one-to-one. -one. There's no mechanical advantage here. But let's keep going on and let's get this thing started. Let's see if it pulls. Try and get straight. Oh. All the way up. All the way up. Oh. Let's go back down. All the way up. All right, baby. So seven pounds down. It pulled seven pounds. It didn't really seem like it was struggling, maybe a little bit, uh, but let's add more weight. All right, so it pulled really well last time, no problem. So let's add two more, two and a half pound weights. So we're up to four of them. So this is gonna be about 12 pounds now of weight. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so the truck can pick it up picking up 12 pounds of weight. All right, here we go, guys, 12 pounds. All right, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of a rolling start. It's kind of cheating, but... That was a failed attempt. Uh, it did not pull the 12 pounds. So I'm gonna take one of the two and a half pound weights out. So it's about nine and a half pounds now, guys. Perfect. All right, so nine and a half pounds is the limit for the truck. All right, so we're gonna be picking up right where we left off with the nine and a half pounds, but what we have is a pulley system now. So we have one pulley, two pulleys, but remember what I was talking about earlier, the two parts of strings, or the, however many parts of strings. This is two, one, two. Um, so this is gonna be a two to one, and the truck should theoretically be able to pull double what it did before, so let's see. All right, let's go. Should be much easier. Should be. All right, we're going. Oh yeah. No problem. All the way up. All the way up. That was easy. Let's add more weight. Two more. 
one, two. So now we have, in total, we have five two and a half pound weights now, plus the weight of the vest. This is gonna be 14 and a half pounds. Let's get pulling. Oh, it's doing it! All the way up, wow. That was amazing. 14 and a half pounds, it could not do that before. It stopped at nine and a half. Let's keep going up. So this is number six, and then this is number seven. So five more pounds of weight. All right guys, 19 and a half pounds. Let's see if we can do it. And go. Oh man, so close. If we can get it, this is it. Ready, go. Oh man. So let's take one out. Let's see. Get right back into it. So now this is six. Perfect. Nice. All right, guys. So with the pulley system that we just had set up, it went from nine and a half pounds to about 17 pounds. All right, guys. So now we added two more pulleys. So if we count it up, we have one, two, three, four parts of line. So we should have four times the pulling force. Of course, the more pulleys, the more chance that there's gonna be more friction and we could lose a little bit of mechanical advantage, but theoretically, we should have four times the pulling power. Um, any less will be friction loss. So guys, I'm really excited for this one. Um, let's get everything set up and let's start, let's start pulling. So last time, we only had two parts of line, now we have four. We're gonna start off where we left off. So the 17 pounds where we maxed out last time. And again, we're gonna see how easy this is. So we're all hooked up. We got the 17 pounds hooked up over there. Let's see how this goes. So one thing you guys might be noticing is, Mike, we went way further than all the other times. That's because when you add more parts of line, you add more pulleys, you sacrifice distance, so you have to travel a further distance in order to pick up more things. So you, you trade off distance for force. All right guys, 22 pounds, let's start. Three, two, one. I'm gonna back up a little bit and then go forward again. All right, we're gonna give it one more shot. Ready, and let's go. Oh man. So 22 pounds. All right, so that was no problem at all. Let's, let's bump this up to 12. So we're gonna add another two. All right guys, so up to 12 weights, that's 32 pounds in total, including the vest, the weight of the vest. All right, ready? We're gonna go back up a little bit in three, two, one. 32 pounds. We have it suspended in the air. Let's give it one more shot. All right, ready? We're gonna hit it harder this time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, 32 pounds. Let's add more weight. So now this is about 35 pounds. All right, ready guys? 35 pounds in three, two, one. We're gonna give it one more shot. And 35 pounds, round two. And three, two, one, go. One more shot. And three, 
two, one, go. All the way up, no problem. We're gonna add two more. These are my last two. I know that I said that last time, but I found two more. Um, and now it's gonna bring it up to about 40 pounds, just under 40 pounds. In three, two, one. It's off the ground. It is off the ground. All right, let's try going into it fast like last time. In three, two, one. We got it about halfway that time. One more shot. In three, two, one. I'm gonna hold it here. Guys, we are all the way off the ground, 40 pounds. I'm just holding it right now. It's about to get pulled back so hard. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Guys, that was awesome. So we combined two of my favorite things, snatch blocks with remote control cars, and it worked out. I mean, if you follow the math that I was talking about a little bit earlier, you know, one, two, three, four parts of lines. That gave our truck four times the mechanical advantage. And it actually worked out perfectly because right when we first started, we pulled 10 pounds with the truck. After we were done, when we added the four pulleys, we pulled 40 pounds or just about 40 pounds with the truck. So we lost a little bit due to friction, but guys, that was so much fun. Let me know if you have any questions about pulleys in the comments and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. But also don't forget in the next one, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit special for you because I'm so happy about getting that 100 subscriber mark. We finally did it. And uh, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. I'll let you know exactly what that's gonna be. So again, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks so much, guys.